Hunters have been happy slapped out of their minds recently, and this build takes the biscuit for the absolute insanity it brings to the Arc Strider subclass after the Arc 3.0 update. It'll delete champions instantly, melt bosses, and keep you alive in the worst of squeaky bum time moments, but now it's time for the full build breakdown in 3 minutes or less. It's been a hot minute since we used Assassin's Cowl, but once you put it on, it's unlikely you'll ever take it off. The constant invisibility from melees or finishers makes you feel like a cheesy void hunter, but you also get near on infinite healing on top. It's always been a perfect match with the Arc Strider, but thanks to Arc 3.0, it's been perfected into its final form. And it's really all down to how deadly the melee kit is with the new aspects and fragments, in particular the updated Lethal Current. Dodging increases your melee lunge, but adds that jolt factor for your next melee hit, and it also creates a huge damaging aftershock that'll jolt everything nearby and just absolutely delete groups of enemies. This in turn will make you instantly invisible for a short duration and allow you some wiggle room to set up your next devastating punch from the shadows. And that devastating punch can be amped up to the max with the combination blow melee ability which massively increases your melee damage output. This alone will deal with most yellow bars in the game and even some champions at a 3 times stack. But what you really need in order to pack the ultimate one hit knockout is a shotgun. Any 1-2 punch shotgun will do, but arguably I'd recommend an arc energy one so that you can use the 25 5% weapon damage boost from the Font of Might before following up with the stacking melee damage from 1-2 punch and combination blow. With Gambler's Dodge equipped, the wombo combo of Dodge Melee Dodge is extremely potent, but on top of the infinite invisibility, you'll also need to survive in the trenches. Flow State will help do just that, as it'll make you Neron permanently amplified, making you more resilient when dodging, and combined not only with a high resilience stat, but also the spark of resistance, you'll be able to survive nearly anything as you move away from where you were last seen. Spark of Amplitude will then create constant orbs of power which when combined with hands on, it will get your overpowered gathering storm super ready to launch whenever you need it. The pulse grenade along with the sparks of shock and magnitude will give you great area denial and is an excellent side serving in this build. But the real lightning storm on top of this electrifying build though is the lament. Having literally zero synergy with the subclass, however it just boosts your survivability whilst dishing out endgame levels of damage. Pairing it with Lucent Blade is top tier in any build and it'll get you a huge 35% sword damage boost when charged with light. So then you'll need to become charged with light and it's a no brainer to use the melee well maker and elemental charge to proc Keen for the lament to delete whatever it looks at. These arc wells will constantly regen your grenades, but it'll also grant you a 30% melee damage boost if you chuck in the well of ions too. You can then even use amped up and bad amplitude for some perfect low cost seasonal mod synergy, but ultimately it's not 100% required as the battlefield is your playground now with this build and you're the master of it. Like I said, it's ideal for endgame content, so put it on and see it in all of its glory with this next video, a solo flawless dungeon run has never been easier.